You know that guy, Elijah Dickin, who risked his own life, took out a mass shooter, and saved countless lives? Many of the survivors have praised the actions of 22-year-old Elijah Dickin, who police say shot the gunman eight times and prevented him from killing anyone else there at the mall. Well, the Gold Bond gang over at the Spew thinks he's the bad guy. Come on, man. Not a joke. I'm being serious. This is not hyperbole, Jack. End of quote. Next line. They say that a good guy with a gun can control a bad guy with a gun. Well, we saw in Uvalde that that's not true. And you saw it in Buffalo. Yes, we saw it yeah. in Buffalo. You are made of stupid. No, what we actually saw at Uvalde is that you can't depend on armed police to protect you. How in the world is that an argument against citizens being armed? Yes, in some cases, the good guy doesn't get there in time. They give themselves up or the bad guy ends themselves. In other cases, it's a regular good guy or a police officer that ends the shootings with a gun. How else do you meat sacks think you can stop a bad guy with a gun without using a gun? Like this is a cartoon and we're gonna lead the shooter to a trap where we drop a piano on his head. Oh, that it is true in it, Indiana. It was true in Indiana. Uh, that was a lucky moment. And you know what, I feel like this. If you're a good guy with a gun, you should not object to background checks or, uh, yes. or licensing or, uh, you know, limitation on military style weapons that kill thousands at once. I'm sorry, what? The only gun that I can think of that would be capable of killing thousands at once would be the BFG, which could definitely leave behind a thousand piles of jibs. The AR-15, which I'm sure she's referring to, shoots one shot with every trigger pull just like most handguns. The worst school shooting in American history was done with handguns. What gun isn't military style? They use handguns in the military. Are those military style? Which military issues AR-15s? None that I know of. Everything these ignorant sausage casings blurt out of their air holes is disinformation. I'm gonna get right back to damaging myself so I can analyze these morons, but first check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Folks, we are to the point where gas is $7 a gallon in some places. A 10 year old Honda Civic could set you back 20K and rent is over $2,000 a month. Welcome to 9.2% inflation. Let's go Brandon, I agree. Yeah. And it doesn't look like it's getting better anytime soon. What can you do? You can try trading stocks or buy mutual funds, but returns are sinking fast. You'd have to make at least 10% with charges just to break even. And if you're looking to retire comfortably, well, those aren't even options. You might have heard about gold IRAs, but don't know much about them. That's why Noble Gold has a team of experts at the other end of the phone. They'll put you straight on what you can and can't do to get yourself to financial safety again. And if you're quick, they're giving away an incredible one-tenth ounce American Eagle gold proof coin with every qualifying IRA or 401k rollover. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. If you're a good guy with a gun, you should not object to background checks or, uh, yes. or licensing. Literally nothing she listed there stopped the shootings they're talking about. Both guys legally bought their guns, went through background checks, and were even known by law enforcement. But with this Good Samaritan thing, listen, I was trained when I was at the Justice Department in firearms, and I was trained in defensive firearm training. Mm -hmm. It is very hard to hit a moving target. It is hard for people that are trained to hit a moving target. It is very lucky um, that that Good Samaritan hit that moving target in, in that way. Not. Why not, you stupid bastard? Poston claims that he was only just lucky to hit his target. Eight out of 10 shots. I guess since Sonny Hostin can't hit a moving target, then nobody can. I'm sure this is all factual, experience-based information we're getting here. You commonly will hear it said in the firearms training industry that only advanced shooters or expert shooters are capable of moving, hitting moving targets. That is a belief system that's been put out there so to, to lead you to believe that you need the instructor's magic pixie dust 
in order to be worthy of shooting a, movie tar a moving target. Your, eye, your hands and your eyes will coordinate onto your target. They will. Use the mechanics, use the principles that we've been using and watch what happens. But with this Good Samaritan thing, listen, I was trained when I was at the Justice Department in firearms and I was trained in defensive firearm training. Mm -hmm. It is very hard to hit a moving target. It is hard for people that are trained to hit a moving target. It is very lucky um, that that Good Samaritan hit that moving target in, in, in that way. And he wasn't, he had a gun permit, but he wasn't supposed to be in the mall with a gun. So he broke the yeah, law, yeah, even, yeah, though a, even though he was a, a and good so Samaritan. The the this is your brain on an ideological religious cult. From her dementia rattled warped perspective, the good guy with the gun was actually the bad guy. <laughs> Because, as she puts it, he's actually breaking the rules by having the gun there in the first place. Except, as you may have guessed, Sonny Houston doesn't know what she's talking about and is spreading disinformation, as well as smearing a hero. And everything that he did was well within Indiana's gun laws. Indiana is different than the law of the mall, of Simon Malls, and I yeah. would say that takes precedence when you save a life. Well, well, well he saved a life, it, but... Guys, he... I gotta go. I, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Yeah. We gotta go. Unreal. He saved lives, but, but what? But he's a white male? The thing you hate more than anything? This disgusting trash was sponsored by Oral-B and CarShield. Don't spend your money on these companies, seriously. They just put their money and brand behind an attack on the guy who just put his own life on the line and saved countless people. They are scum and the market should treat them accordingly. All right, that's another one in the can. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and share this video, it really helps. Then leave a comment to vent all your frustrations. Thanks a lot, see you on the next one.